Well, what this allows us to do is to begin to put in place the manufacturing and distribution required to help facilitate actual play out of the drug in humans. Well, in his whistleblower suit, Rick Bright, the former BARDA director, warned that we might face a glass vial shortage and that it could take two years to make enough glass vials just to serve the U.S. vaccine market if we do get a COVID-19 vaccine. From where you sit, does the country, does the world uh, have the capacity to make enough glass vials on the time frames we're talking about for these vaccines? Well, we worked with Rick for a number of years and with BARDA on their important mission. Uh, what this whole program is about is as a first priority to make sure that we have enough vials for the U.S. population. We still have more work to do to make sure we have enough doses for the whole world. And that still remains ahead of us. And you can depend on us to be working hard on it. And how do you actually accomplish that? I mean, do you need to build new facilities? Can you use the existing facilities you have uh, more efficiently? I mean, how does this process work? Because just to give some scale, you know, I was talking with Pfizer uh, about this, and they say right now they make 500 million doses of vaccine per year for all of their vaccines. Now, if they're successful, they could be making almost that much just for this one COVID-19 vaccine. So that scale is just massive. So how do you do this? That's exactly correct. And we're going to be doing all the above. Here, we're going to be increasing the size and scale of our manufacturing in New York, New Jersey, as well as North Carolina. And we're going to be doubling our manufacturing workforce just to start. Uh, as this ramps and as it becomes clearer what are going to be the right treatment regimens, we'll respond with even more aggressive moves in manufacturing. Now, you said in your announcement that uh, with the BARDA funding, priority access will be given to designated BARDA vaccine and drug development partners. Just tell us kind of what, what that means in terms of operating under Operation Warp Speed, um, how you'll prioritize who you work with. Well, our first sort of ring of priority will be determined by those other members of Operation Warp Speed that are with us. Uh, but then we also want to be able to support people beyond that ring. Innovation is really hard to just pick ahead of time. And so we want to make sure we have the capability to work with as many folks as we can to help meet this pressing human health need. All right, Wendell Weeks, thank you so much for joining us to discuss what will be such an important issue if and when we're lucky enough to get a successful vaccine. Thank you.